this video is uh, primarily for people who had no experience in uh, what is called meditation or mindfulness, being present or any type of awareness practice. Uh, so it's either for those who have no experience with that or they had very little experience. And this will be uh, like an introduction to mindfulness or to presence practice. And uh, yeah, so if you are interested to explore this dimension of ourselves, feel free to uh, use it, uh, use the guidance with the aim of ultimately building your own practice and uh, setting some time aside uh, without any guidance uh, and applying the best you can the pointers to experience meditation for yourself. Also, feel free to use this video whenever uh, you feel um, like anxious or worries or uncomfortable sensations or feelings in the body, uh, stress um, or recurring thoughts, fears about the future, fears about losing a loved one or a relationship or any type of turmoil in their inner life. I will share just a few thoughts at the beginning, some theory about meditation and awareness, and then we can just jump straight into it. So in a nutshell, the practice of meditation or, you know, I use these words interchangeably, meditation, mindfulness, awareness, being conscious, being present, being aware, they all refer to the same thing. It refers to this uh, state of being where we simply observe what's going on in the here and now. Or we are present to the inner landscape, which uh, is made up of thoughts, images swirling in the head, uh, maybe uh, bodily sensations or these feelings, you know, we call anxiety or or uh, sadness or nervousness or fear um, as well as as well as external sense perceptions like sounds and tactile sensations like the feeling of the a body resting on a chair the the feeling of the clothes on the body so during this time of meditation experiment we suspend any type of thinking uh, interest to try to figure something out or any type of external doingness. And we just give ourselves this time to simply be present. Just be present in the here and now and observe the thoughts coming and going, observe the feelings, the sensations, the sounds. Um, it's like noticing without getting involved. So this is not about trying to suppress the thoughts or getting rid of a certain feeling. It's simply allowing this phenomena to, to do their thing. And we simply observe or notice with an attitude of uh, acceptance, accepting what is here to be as it is. Yeah. Also, it's important to uh, the posture to, um, at least in my book, it's important to allow the body to be relaxed. So you don't need to have a special stiff posture. So uh, allowing the body to be relaxed as transparent as possible as comfortable as possible and free feel free to change the position whenever it becomes uncomfortable i do recommend uh, to um, keep your back as straight as you can um, this being said you know one can uh, use these guided meditations lying down 
the danger with that that sometimes one can get so relaxed that one will drift away and uh, sleeping but with a little bit of practice one can remain in this uh, meditative state as one is lying down without falling asleep and it's actually deeply relaxing and nurturing um, i will use this uh, bell this mindfulness bell from time to time um, i lose it at the beginning and the end but also throughout and whenever you hear the bell whenever you hear the bell you can use this sound as a some type of alarm clock some type of reminder to stay in the present moment as opposed to drifting away in future thinking, rehashing of the past. As you will see at the beginning of the meditation, the, the mind can be very busy, uh, constant chatter, and uh, without us realizing, we kind of drift away in some story. So use the bell as if you are hearing the bell and you realize you're drifting away in some elsewhere daydreaming then let go of that thought and come back to the present moment and can do that with or without the bell all right so let's begin make yourself comfortable And we can start by being aware of the breathing process. And keeping the attention focused on the movement, the sensations connected to the body breathing without any attempt to change the breath in any way. Allowing the body to breathe just as the body is doing it. And we simply observe, you know, the intake of air, the out breath. And keeping the attention on the breath, doing our best to not drift into some daydreaming session. Sometimes it may help to, to put a hand on your belly, on the lower belly and simply notice the rising and fall of the abdomen as we breathe in and out. Nothing to think about, nothing to do. Simply just noticing this natural breath that it's all the time happening and we take for granted. Thoughts, images, memories may come up. 
from the day, from the busyness, from the future thinking. We don't try to stop them, but we don't get involved with them. So if you notice you're drifting somehow, engaging with some story, you can disengage and bring your awareness back to this simple process of breathing. So we are simply witnessing all these sensations and movement connected to the breathing process without trying to change anything or without trying to figure out anything. And using this awareness of breathing as a non-conceptual anchor into right here and right now. And each time you notice that you drifted away elsewhere in some movie of the past or the future, each time coming back to the here and now, being aware of breathing. If you notice this drifting very often, it's fine, it's normal, don't beat yourself up. Each time you unstick from being lost in thinking and coming back to what is real, what is here. At the beginning of our meditation experience, it's helpful to start with being aware of the breath as a way to transition from thinking and internal busyness to this one-pointedness of attention. Also this Awareness of breathing can be very useful during times when we get really upset or triggered or anxious or angry. This can help as a way to uh, stabilize ourselves and regain some grounded composure. Then once we, after a few minutes of engaging with awareness of the breathing, at this point we can let go of this narrow focus on the breath. And we can notice other aspects of our experience in the now. So we can turn our interest in 
awareness towards the body. And we simply notice whatever sensations, energies are present in the body, whether they are pleasant or neutral or unpleasant. And when I say turn our attention towards the body or towards sensation in the body or being present to these energies in the body, I don't mean to think about it or to label them. It's just simply noticing without any thought attached to it. So turn your attention towards the sensations of the contact areas between the body and the chair, or the sofa, the area of the seat bones, the back. Nothing to think about just noticing those sensations. And release the whole weight of the body onto the chair or couch. Allowing the body to be like a sack of potatoes. And we can allow your awareness to notice whatever sensations are present, appearing in this inner world. Maybe some pains and aches maybe, or some sense of relaxation in the body or so in the area of the chest or belly, there might be some contraction, some tightness, some knot. This is the area where we have our feelings. So we simply notice all these energies, sensations, free floating in the space. And it's very important to try not to do anything to these energies, to these sensations. We simply allow them to be as they are. Without trying to change them or to get rid of any feeling or to calm anything down. We are simply noticing without getting involved. And if some particular area of the body feels more tight, or if we experience some emotional state. We may notice some unpleasantness somewhere. Do your very best to allow it to be without doing anything to it, simply witnessing. And again, 
thoughts or images may come in the mind or maybe the feeling in the chest has some story. So doing the best not to drift away elsewhere into the mind, into a story. So staying present. Just this moment, being present to this now, now, And we may notice some gradual relaxation. We can also relax the jaw muscles, allow the jaw to slightly hang, relaxing the eyelids. Relaxing the facial muscles. So this is not about thinking. It's not about doing. It's about being. It's about being aware of what's happening within us in the here and now without changing anything also without drifting elsewhere checking out Also, there is an element of chilling, of relaxing in the now. Simply witnessing thoughts, feelings, sensations, sounds. One of the main obstacles to mindfulness or awareness practice in the beginning is this constant tendency of us to drift into thinking and to go leave the present moment, which is all we have, and go somewhere in the past, the future, which they don't really exist. So each time you notice that you are checking out, just notice as soon as you realize and come back to what is in the present moment, the breath, the sense of being, sounds, Taking a little break from this constant tendency to think. Okay. 
And just being, effortlessly being present. We can now turn, turn your awareness towards this external sense perceptions. Or with the eyes closed, basically there are sounds and there's hearing. So turn your attention towards hearing. And simply notice whatever sounds appear in the present moment awareness. Without thinking like traffic or the clock, just wordlessly being aware to sounds in the present moment, like a cat. Noticing sounds from this room, maybe sounds from the outside, the sound of this voice. Even the sound the body makes as we breathe. And to a certain extent, even these thoughts our sounds in our head. So just noticing the sounds that are happening in the present. Being present to sounds is another non-conceptual anchor into the present. So we can come back to sounds in the present, to the breath, even in our daily life as we walk or we feel some obsessive thoughts recurring or some comfortable feelings. We can come back to the breath, become aware of the here and now. This usually lightens the load, helps us be more stable, a little bit more at peace. Even during inner turmoil, When you practice this on your own, it's totally okay to put some music, maybe put something without vocals or lyrics so it doesn't distract the mind, some gentle meditation music, some um, bells or anything meditative. You may also notice this background of inner silence, which allows for sounds to be heard. So tuning into this inner 
field of silence within. And whenever you notice that you drifted elsewhere, rehashing something or figure out something, just drop it. You can drop the thought, coming back to just this moment, just now. Now and now. For the purposes of this intro to meditation, I took you sector by sector, like being aware of the breath, being aware of sensations in the body, feelings in the body, being aware of thoughts or being aware of sounds. I just did it for that you have a clear picture of the different realms within the now. But in real life, all these are happening all at once. There are sounds, some random memory, some tightness. Um, so for the last part of this meditation, we are going to simply be present to the totality of the here and now without focusing on anything in particular. The only thing is to remain present, notice whatever is here without trying to change anything. Simply witnessing whatever is arising in the field of awareness. And simply being the witness, resting as this observing, noticing state. If sometimes the mind is particularly busy and keeps going to some line of thought, a good tip is to come back to the breath. The breath is steady, constant, so it helps us to stay with the now, being aware of the breath. This usually slows down the flux of thoughts calms by itself some of the feelings.
helps us be more stable, grounded. Now, we can allow the eyes to gradually open the eyelids. Take your time. And then just glance around the room. Notice various objects, colors, shapes. There's no need to put any labels on what we see, just seeing and being present to seeing. This is a useful exercise so that we don't restrict this being present and being conscious. We don't restrict it only to this time when we are with the eyes closed. So we can train ourselves to, as we wait for the bus or wait in line at the post office or drive, just see without going into the chatter. Thirty minutes is a good time for a meditation session, uh, even 15 minutes, even 12 minutes, it helps. So I suggest you, if you enjoy it and if it feels good, peaceful, suggest you incorporate this in your day. Um, good times will be in the morning, before checking the cell phone or in the night, these are auspicious times, or any time one feels cold. All right, well, I hope you enjoy, get a lot of benefit from the path of awareness, path of meditation, and stay tuned. Thank you.